Cynthia Hoopers and WorldComp. This case presents one of the most serious uh, ethical issues in the United States, and because of that, the fraud committed by WorldComp took the company to this end in 2002. The audit led by Cynthia Cooper, vice president at that time of the company and um, manager of the audit department, identified serial uh, financial malpractice and, and was important to define an strategy to correct it then and made the right decision to the situation. It was a very difficult situation for um, Cynthia as a professional and as an audit supervisor uh, for the company. After carefully analyzing um, all the information that she was able to collect, um, Cynthia had to decide what would be the right strategy for her and the steps to, fo to follow and, um, to this difficult situation. Uh, she encountered a, a Latin consequence of her whistleblowing that would make the company to failure. Uh, she was worried about the, all the jobs and millions of dollars that the company will lost. And this decision will be a negative impact for many, even for herself. And but her commitment to her belief were more important, and she needs um, to do the right thing, no matter the, the, the consequence. And Cynthia was able to identify and confirm with the CEO and some of the top manager members that were making a, the company financial numbers. So that were, which were fake, reflecting that they were getting bigger earnings than what they were really what re, were reporting. One of the biggest illegal movement they were doing um, was putting up in, in operating expenses into capital ex, uh, exp, expenditures, which is a reflection of accounting uh, of a fake money um, making a, a status, which is uh, that is a, a serious. A fraud in, in the accounting world. Uh, Cynthia has an ethical obligation to report her findings. As a business administrator, having the audit um, director presenting the situation, the first action is analyze all the information and run an investigation to prove that what was being you know, brought to my attention as an um, um, administrator of the company. One is confirmed. Uh, the board of directors had to be um, notified of the situation uh, and should be meeting and able to discuss the, what was happening and also identify and define the best strategy to follow and how to proceed with uh, the findings um, because they were very serious. Uh, they were supposed to be reported to the correspondency uh, federal agency um, to make aware of what was happening, and, and no matter the you know the consequence, um, analyzing the the view of uh, Emmanuel Kant, a uh, moral law for represent a fundamental po point in people's life. According to him, what matters is the consequence and the motivation of the individual individual uh, can have you knowing a situation. In this case, Cynthia loved her job and what she was doing at the company. She was loyal to it, but it doesn't matter how she was feeling about her job, she had the responsibility and she had to comply with her duties, no matter the outcome was. Cynthia has to report the finding, and this is also an advice that always was given to her by her mom. She always said that to her. From the point of uh, George a Brinker, as she said a book, Cynthia has the moral obligation to tell the truth, no matter what, and expose the situation involving, um, you know, that was involving several executives of the company. Uh, she should not fall under the pressure of that she was having at some point with uh, Sullivan that was trying to convince her not to uh, bring that, you know, uh, uh, to to management and um, leave uh, and stop uh, the the investigation that she was running. So basically, he he wants to prevent to Cynthia to make that public. Um, 
after the, the case of the work comp, a few years after, in, well, at the end of 2002, which was the same day a year that the situation happened, in, a new act was approved. It was the Sovereign Oxley Act, in, with the objective to prevent fraud and encourage ethical responsibility in companies. Um, the act was helping companies not to fail in malpractices and those that have been involved in it receive criminal penalties and pay for the fraudulent actions committed. Law markets um, created the legislation to help uh, and protect the shareholders, employees, and the public from accounting errors and fraudulent financial uh, practices. The act passed after um, this case happening and I was covering protection um, uh, was lawyers like like Cooper, so to prevent that something happened to them uh, when they bring uh, this type of frauds uh, public in, and notify them. To conclude um, with the analysis, the case uh, that was I was allowed to to for me to think in an ethical behavior and provide me with a lesson for my professional career. Uh, no matter what the consequences are. If I'm involved in something, not because I want, but um, you know, for life certain since you ne you never know, uh, you okay. should always say the truth and be uh, honest and um, believe in yourself and be ethical all the time. Um, it's clear to define that individuals cannot take advantage of their positions uh, in corporations or take abuse of the power that they have um, or that have been assigned to them. They should never break that, that line. Um, anyway, uh, Ms. Uh, Cooperstein took the best decision uh, revealing, you know, history, larger case of corporate fraud uh, that at that time. They stand for the truth, and they committed with the within as individuals uh, being part of the community. The case was developed properly and, res <clears throat> and respecting the ethical principles and behavior professionals should keep in life. And I will end with uh, what uh, Cooper say in one interview of, uh, years later because she became a um, you know a, a speaker for universities and. Um, and different uh, places in business re related, and she can um, find uh, you can find herself giving a speech and coaching about the situation that she lives. So she say once that we all have the power of choice, and you can give it away, but not one can take it from you. So like be honest all the time and practice your ethical, um, you know, uh, in life. Uh, this is what I um, prepare for the class and I hope if what you were expecting from, from us as from, from students about the, the analysis of the case. Thank you.